Hi everyone, um, this is the second time I had to do this video, uh, quite frustrating because I, for some reason, didn't hit the record button the first time and then went and did a whole lot of work and so I have to put it all back to show you. But anyway, um, I've got this 62 bell ear that I'm going to, uh, part of a build off, um, it's going to get, hopefully, a pretty cool kind of low rider paint job. You know, lots of panels and lace and different colours and stuff. Um, but I want to lower it so that I can... Uh, I want to fit this uh, 3D printed airbag kit to it. Uh, so I want to drop it right down. And you can see that she's sitting reasonably high. Um, this is a Maisto, so they have springs in them. So if I push down, you see I can get a bit of height out of it. Uh, so one really easy way of lowering a Maisto model is to simply take the springs out. So I'm going to do that, uh, and then I'll do a little bit more, just to show you how you can get it a little bit lower, um, with relatively little effort. If I want to get any lower, then I'm going to have to do some uh, major cutting and stuff. But anyway, uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I just repositioned the camera little bit of um, padding underneath so I don't scratch the paint. I'm not actually going to repaint most of the model. I'll probably just scuff the paint a little bit, mark it up, and then airbrush on top, but we'll see how it goes. Now, you might notice a little piece of the exhaust is missing uh, because I took that out before and forgot to pop it back in. So we'll just pretend that that was still there. Uh, so four screws in the suspension. Nice big chunky screws, easy to pull out. Uh, Maestos are generally pretty pretty good to work with. Really good model uh, brand if you're starting out in custom building. Okay, so that that piece comes off and um, that kind of holds the suspension. Then you've got the axle with those holes that slide up and down. Uh, with the spring. So just simply take the springs out, pop that back in, and you can see that the model's lower already. So it was sitting up about there, now it's tucked in nicely. Um, I might as well do it straight away. So the other part to it is this exhaust system cuts in under the axle and actually holds the axle up a bit. So I'm just going to pry this off. Okay, it did come off before, so it's a little bit easier. Pop the axle back in. And I can actually flip it if I want to. So you can see there's a wee sort of notch there. If I flip it, I won't have that, so I'll get a little bit lower. So when you have a look, you can now see that tucks in nicely. So it was up, up here. And now it tucks in nicely. I may want to go lower, but to do that, I'm I'm going to have to do some extra cutting. So I'll just leave it like that for now. If you want to, um, I don't particularly need to at this stage. I can pop this back on. And you may even notice it's almost at the same level as the wheel. So I would probably need to do some modification of that to drop it down as well. Do the same at the front. Pop this off. Take the springs out. Oh. Just to quickly demonstrate. Now it has just popped off the steering steering system there. So that's what it's like uh, with just the springs on. Take the springs out. Actually, I'm just I'll I'll explain. No, I can't do that. 
what what happened is see this bit here let's just see if we can zoom in right this is the the part that s slides up and down uh, on here okay and before before I, when I did the video and thought I was recording it had this extra piece underneath okay so I sliced that off so basically I've gained an extra two or three millimeters um, of clearance that I can use to lower it so if I pop that back in uh, and that's down as far as it'll go and you can see that that, that wheel now tucks in quite nicely okay so it's it's quite a bit lower already uh, just just by doing that so I'll put that suspension back on So, as you can see, just about the same height as the front wheels. Okay, now you can see it's quite a bit, quite a bit lower. I would like to get it, if I can, right down on the ground. And you can see I'm going to have to trim a little bit of stuff off and. Uh, change where the exhaust goes uh, but I think that's that's looking pretty good at the moment so I mean it would have been and uh, the wheels are all turning as well it's not quite as loosely as they were originally yeah so anyway uh, that's not too bad a little bit more work to do on the suspension and then should be sorted so just to show you the front you can see where these screws go down they go into these two uh, parts here what I might do is just trim those off a bit which means that that, that part there should sit lower um, I may have to cut cut these in bits as well or possibly just drill through um, that so that they they will stick through and then cut them to size so i'm going to give that a go so just using a bit of uh, six mil masking tape uh, to mark it out six mils might be a little bit more than i need to take off but i do want to get this low so um, that's where i'm going to base it a little bit more off one than the other hoping that's not going to be too much of a problem there we go and you can see that that now sits down a lot further which is nice I 
may need to drill the hole out or possibly get shorter screws in there. See that's tucked in quite nicely there now. And the wheel still roll and turn, which is good. Okay, so on the back I can actually cut this this piece off level with the axle, which will get me another two two and a half millimeters um, but to make that work I'm also going to have to cut the inside of the wheel wells out so that the wheels can tuck up in there so that's next on the list Okay, so to get uh, to cut the wheel well, I'm going to have to take the body off. Just having a look, it looks like one, two screws in the back of the rear wheel wells, and one through the through the engine transmission. I think that one came out. One reason why working on mastos is a really good place to start. They generally come apart quite easily. Put the body over there. Got the chassis, and you can see now that I can cut the wheel well out, uh, and you won't see it from the inside because of the the seats and the the inside of the boot so we'll just take those off see that too easy so we're going to do this reasonably radical so I'm going to cut across these sometimes doing this with a Dremel is can be a little bit easier but I'm just going to do it with the saw for now Now, some people might want to measure this before they start cutting, um, but I'm just basing it on the back of those screw parts. And a couple of decades of experience. So I hope I don't mess this up. Yep, I'm going to go... So I may put bigger wheels in as well, so let's go, let's go across here, I can always take a little bit, you can always take more out later if you need to, it's hard to put stuff back in if you need to though. Apologies if I bump the camera and make everybody a little seasick. So I've cut each end, and now I need to cut through. Just 
thinking about that. Should be okay. is in the background I'm not sure if you can hear it it's just my dog say hello chicky trying to find her tennis ball in amongst the towel there we go good girl right back to some cutting You could also do this, something similar to this as well, if you were going to make this into a pro tour or, you know, put some, tub it out kind of thing. Probably have to cut a wee bit more out though. Cool. Okay, so got those two bits out. Plus the piece I cut off off there. That should get us nice and low. Yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty good. I may have to trim a little bit off the back of the wheel. I should need that. Okay, so let's put the body back on. Which is... Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay. I thought I could get away with not putting the rear in. But it, it does help set the... parts and quite like this model actually I wasn't too sure about a Chevy Bel Air it was chosen for the competition it's not really my kind of thing but I'm quite enjoying this oh my goodness check this out So you can see that's made quite a difference at the back there. Really tuck those wheels down. And it's actually sitting on one of the screw, the screw mounts that, it, uh, you know, mounts to the, to the uh, base on here. So that's really cool. I might just, uh, can I get that down a bit lower? Yep, 
if I cut that off, I can actually get that lower. I mean, they were going to have to come off anyway. So, this video is going a little bit longer than I thought. Right, accidentally hit stop there. So, I'm just going to take off the two mounting points that go back on the base. Um, I could probably still get it on the base if I really wanted to. Um, but let's just going to realistically be able to get it much lower without starting to shave the chassis off. Yeah, I may be able to drop it down a little bit more. But that's looking pretty good. Obviously I need to do something at the front now. Um, to get it right down, but I'm liking the look of that. Now at the front, I'm going to take a different approach. You can see how the wheel sits on the spindle, okay? I can't really drop it down any further because you've got this in the way. So what I'm going to do is cut the spindle off drill through, chop uh, three to four mils off, maybe a bit more actually. In fact, I might even do half a centimeter, maybe 0.6, uh, uh, so that I can drop it down and then add back to it if I want to. And then I can uh, use either use this particular spindle or some other plastic tubing and put it through for the wheel to sit on. So, going to see how that works. It is also going to mean I'm going to have to cut the fender inside of the fender out, uh, which will be visible under the under the bonnet or hood. But can't really lower it any further without doing that so have to give that a go okay for this part just for a little bit of contrast i am going to use my dremel it's a little bit easier to, to get into some parts with the, with the cutting disc and i'm using one of these uh, plastic cutting blades okay so I have put the uh, six mil tape on. Um, the masking tape like of particular sizes is quite useful um, to measure up stuff. Now I'm not going to be able to get the blade in there, so I'm going to cut the fender off first, or the fender well, uh, and then and then I'll go in and do that. So. Let's see how this goes. So with Dremels on the plastic, you use them at a relatively low speed. Um, and just see how it's about 10,000 goes. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more than that.
So I'm going to have to put that back in and I may need to do a little bit of extra trimming around there as well. So that does have a hole. You can see there's a hole down there. So basically some, what have we got? Just some one eighth tubing. I should be able to fit that down there afterwards. Entering brave new territory, people. So I'm just going to try drilling the hole down first. And you can see it's broken off, broken off that one already. So, I think this is going to work. Let's just uh, see what happens, shall we? much now get that wheel as low as I like so that should be interesting right I'm gonna do the other one now okay so there's obviously a bit of tidying up to do the plastic sort of screes off and melts a bit so need a bit of tidying so that was where the original piece came up drilled a hole in that matches the original spindle but I could also replace that I can pop that up inside there now and we can fit the wheels back okay now we are going to run into some other problems so the steering linkage that goes across uh, is actually going to start hitting the bottom of the motor so I may need to somehow reroute that, um, do something with it. Uh, but let's just see. I kind of don't want to glue those bits in just yet, but it may not, may not sit too easily if I don't. Okay, well, I've definitely got the front lower. Um, it's not sitting.
quite right as it as it needs to but um, that is very okay so apparently I kept the video rolling that whole time through uh, so I had to do a little bit of uh, magic uh, just while the while the camera was out. I needed to grind a little bit more of the wheels out and the steering mechanism and remove the cross linkage and a few other bits and pieces just to try and get it because I'm a little bit short of time today. But uh, that is now significantly lower. So... Um, still doesn't quite turn steer in there so I'll, i've got a little bit more work to do because i do i do like them to to steer if, if possible um but you can see that's now looking quite nice and low uh for a bagged car you can barely see daylight under there so there we go more work to do obviously